neighbors are gonna hate me so much right now. So thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Race Motive has finally come. My first uh, road racing event. Never done this type of event before. I've done autocross, I've done other stuff, but my first time on a track like this. So it should be a good day. Should see a lot of fast cars. Hopefully I run a lot of fast cars. Let's start heading over. First stop. Purple, nigga, drip. Purple, Respect purple, me. Pink, no. no. Stop to get gas real quick. For some reason, the boost has been at like 12, 13 psi. I'm not going much more than that, even if I turn the boost controller up. But it's holding the 13. Sometimes it spikes to 14. Sometimes it spikes to 15. But we haven't seen more than that. All right, guys, made it to a little parking lot here. Dope cars. M4. I think that's an M2. 235, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it's M2. S13 on a tire, that's fire. Got an F80 down there, M5. Mustang on a tire. Everybody's on a tire. Supras. There's another Ron Supra over there. AMG. There's mad nice cars. GTR. Hellcat. There's a couple Hellcats too. We got an ISF down there. I don't know who's E30s this is, but it's fire. Another Hellcat. Alright guys, so we just finished the driver's meeting. Now we're gonna do a parade lap around the um, around the track just to see where we're going. Check this out. Yo, this is fire. New 992 and the TTRS. So I knew I'd have this issue with the clutch, but it's like getting worse each run. Like it's getting mad hard to get into gear. Once I press the clutch, clutch is going all the way down. I'm shifting like as fast as I can and it's not going in. Like it just locks me out. Unless I have, you have to wait for the boost to drop or come out of boost, whatever. And then it'll let me into gear. And by the time that happens, all the power falls off and I end up getting a trash run. So I think I have to work on getting a new clutch and the boost isn't even at where I want it to be. So there's that. So I don't know why it's not going past like, I think 12 or 13 PSI, whatever it is. At some point it was peaking at like 14. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's a weird issue. 
but definitely the clutch has to go. I could deal with the most for now. I'm gonna take a break and you know check out some other cars in the garages or whatever. Things in peace. Sheesh. The 62 or 63 mil? Yeah, 63. Nice. <laughs> On the contours. It is fire. RTD shifter with the Euro wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna be here. What boost is it at now? Uh, 20 something. <laughs> 20 something. 20, 25 in that range. Nice. Stock block? Uh, the, the bottom end. Bottom end? Nice. So I'm gonna eventually do E85, but like, mm -hmm. I, I had an F80 with full bolt-ons, and this thing is like, fuck you, scary compared to it. <laughs> so I've had it for like two weeks. I got almost a thousand miles on it. It's like, nice. I just want to get a little more comfortable with it, and then mm -hmm. we'll start throwing some spice at her, but it's been great so far. When I was talking to some of the other um, E36 and E30 guys that are familiar with the setup, and most likely it's just a pressure plate that's, that can't hold it. So most likely I have to go with the twin disc. I don't know when I'm gonna order it because I gotta search which one would be perfect for this setup. So I don't know. So that's the main two issues right now. The clutch and the boost not being able to go above like 13 PSI. But once I get it fixed, the car should be 100%. Just to show you guys what it's like when I'm shifting in boost and out of boost, here's the difference. If I can shift normal when I'm out of boost, but I can't shift as fast. I'm going to try a second and third. got the the link to get the times and i did not do as bad as i thought i'm number 16 right i trapped my best 119 and compared to the other cars let me see what's close to me mustang was 116 uh i don't know what that is another mustang was 116 what else 
I was pretty close to an E63 estate. It was 121. Mustang V6, whatever. Hellcat was 115. Uh, M2 was 113. 135 was 114. Another M3 was 119. He was 119.41. I was 119.21. Uh, what else? Volkswagen. Another Supra was 117. Like, I'm way faster than a lot of cars that I thought were, like, killing it out there. And I don't even know when I got the 119 run. Because I was spinning all the runs and the, the clutch was giving issues. So 119 is pretty good to me. I'm surprised. My starting speed was 46 miles an hour, 48, 47, 47, 42, 45, 48. I thought I got, like, bottom, like, worst time ever here. Meanwhile car they're really good with the clutch issue with the boost issue so i'm really surprised so i can't even imagine when i get a new clutch So I'm gonna try this one more time or maybe one or two times because this is crazy It's like spiked out of nowhere. So hopefully it holds it 